up guys mr free coiner coming back to you again hope everyone's doing well and you're taking care of yourselves all right so before i get started just want to remind you i'm not a financial advisor i am simply sharing my thoughts and opinions so please only take it as that or entertainment whatever just not financial advice all right yeah i know it's been a while i had to take a little bit of a hiatus again uh just you know, you know how things are, especially in this space. Um, I uh, have been obviously keeping my eye on things and also noticing several accounts or several uh, YouTube channels getting blocked, banned, uh, deleted, you know, whatever's happening. It seems like it's not so much the XRP community, but I wouldn't rule that out. We've you know, also had our share of things happen. Now, a lot of people are blaming a lot of different things, okay? And, you know, honestly, it could be anything that's actually uh, causing it. It could be hackers or it could be just some type of attack. But I think ultimately, whatever is happening, um, it, it, it really comes to one thing. Uh, if we did have some type of a uh, uh, bull run or anything in the interim while these accounts are are getting blocked, um, it could very well slow things down uh, for noobs or new people coming in and really kind of keep them from getting the knowledge they need to invest properly or you know or, or at least, have the right, you know, go in the right direction to uh, research and things like that. But, I mean, again, it could be anything. It just seemed to me, honestly, that um, it may have been purposeful, you know, having some type of a deeper uh, reason for uh, doing such a thing. But, again, we'll see. Um, obviously, we're all still waiting on this bull run. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, at this point, uh, from a couple things that I've seen, honestly, it was showing, uh, the, the, uh, charts were showing that we are in a similar pattern as 2017. Now, is that absolutely true? I don't know. I, I just saw something that someone tweeted. Uh, it could be a different time frame or, you know, whatever. It, I'm just, like I said, I'm just, seeing what I saw um, ultimately it just really comes down to this now I, I do want to uh, just remind folks remember what happened uh, in 2017 was coming off of XRP's increase from much much lower prices so it wasn't a, a, a big drop and then uh, it, at least um, in 2017 it wasn't it didn't it wasn't coming off of a higher high or rather a higher price i'm sorry and then you know maybe coming back up it was just a steady increase so there's a bit of a difference there um i know obviously now um it we it seems like we can't get past 18 or 19 cents uh but who knows i mean this this whole thing is very confusing um just going to go over a couple things here uh i'll, I'll go over that in just a second so like, for example, here, Ripple's valuation now $10 billion. Uh, but after this news came out, XRP, I think we saw a bit of a, a climb up and then it came right back down. So again, I'm just going to repeat myself. This to me is, is it's the result of some type of manipulation. Now I've seen some people saying, uh, that they don't believe it's Ripple, they don't, you know, or they believe it's Ripple, whatever. I, I don't, I personally don't think that um, Ripple itself is necessarily doing this. I think that uh, there is a more clever way that it's being done if this is manipulation. And there are, I'm sure, very uh, clever ways it could be done to where it's really not so uh, easily identifiable. Okay. Uh, the same, I mean, if we can have a bunch of companies buying uh, OTC or, you know, in the background to where we can't see it, 
then obviously there are ways to get this done without anyone being able to tell what's actually happening. Okay, so I don't rule that out. Um, and I, I also don't rule out the possibility that this is just, you know, organic movement, right? It could very well just be that the price is just not moving or, you know, it's just the lack of interest or whatever, which personally, I don't believe that because uh, I'll just put it like this. From 2017 to now, there are not 10 times more um xrp tokens in circulation right but the thing is is that we have more than 10 times the volume going through or you know of xrp being used so how are we so much further down i mean we're many times what uh i would say at least 20 uh x down from where the high was back in 2017 okay at least that so it really makes no sense for it to be so low at this point that's just my my rationale going on here uh, again like i said it just makes no sense uh, for that to be now i would say there's probably i don't know exactly the amount that was in circulation back in 2017 i think it was somewhere around uh, 45 billion uh, somewhere around that, but we're only at 50, maybe 51 billion. I, I think it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like somewhere around 50 billion. Uh, like I said, there, it's not 10 times more XRP in circulation. And actually, uh, there are more people who actually own XRP at this point. So there are even more XRP taken off uh, the exchanges and, and just from availability or rather from being available so again how is the price this low if there isn't some type of manipulation going on that's just my question there okay so um, let's go ahead and go to this article is IBM quietly exploring ripple and XRP link uh, LinkedIn page trigger speculation so um, here I'm just going to read a couple things here. Uh, um, not going to read the obviously read the whole thing, but it says here, IBM Solutions architect uh, Viral Shah, who is based in Mumbai, appears to be working on a proof of concept that utilizes RippleNet, according to his profile. And it says performing POC on RippleNet blockchain implementation for bank, interacting with various team and client uh, to gather information and drive various solutions. So obviously. In some way, they would, they are using RippleNet, which is, I mean, almost positively, almost positively, uh, they are using XRP in some way. Um, but he, it goes on to say, however, IBM has an interactive partnership with a different blockchain platform, Stellar, which we all know. The pair are developing a payment system called WorldWire, which is, which uses the Stellar protocol to power cross-board remote, I'm sorry to power cross-border remittances okay so now it seems like there's some conflict or some I don't know misdirection here but it's obviously there is something happening okay now with the recent things that have been going on with with uh, Stellar them burning uh, 50 I think it was at 50 billion coins or something like that something crazy um, it would seem to me that any company uh, would get a little scared off by that. I mean, why wouldn't they? And then still the price has not increased. Um, you know, that's very possible. It's, well, rather, it's very possible that they are looking in other areas for something a little bit more stable. Okay. IBM has not confirmed whether it has ever worked directly with Ripple, which has also developed a suite of tools to power cross-border transactions. Okay, so uh, if you go on down here, uh, there's another quote here. It says, participants on the network should be able to choose and negotiate their choices in real time. And the price might be different depending on the settlement instrument you use. So I think with Ripple, they're looking at XRP as their primary digital asset for settlement. For us, it could be Lumens. It could be Ripple. It could be, X, it could be XRP even now. Uh, 
you know, last time I checked, there is no such thing, or rather such token called Ripple anymore. Uh, it is XRP. So uh, I think this particular statement right here was just so, you know, there is uh, nothing being nailed down or we can't hold them to anything. But I, I don't know. It seems to me that the writing's on the wall there. I think at this, this point, uh, the people playing these games have come to realize that those of us who still hold the coin, we're not going anywhere. We've, you know, we've made our, made our decision. We've made our minds up. We are absolutely not going anywhere. So they may as well get on with it. Whether it's this year, next year, whenever it may be, we are not going anywhere. Okay. Now, about the only thing that would, well, I'm not even going to say that. I, there are different scenarios, I think, that could cause a, a little more or a few more people to sell out, but that's really neither here nor there. Uh, it really comes down to just one thing. XRP has the utility. XRP has the use case. And eventually, something has to happen with it. These people that are you know, if it is that, if that is the case, if there are people playing games, uh, with the price, even they know it can't stay like this forever because, hey, guess what? They want to make money too. Uh, this, uh, this bull run that we're about to see will, in my opinion, make the first trillionaires, individual trillionaires ever in history. And, um, uh, yeah, so, I, I think they don't want this to go on any longer than it has to, uh, but they need us to believe that they will allow it to go on. Again, this is just my opinion. According to the uh, manipulation uh, standpoint, okay. So anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. I don't want to make this video too long. Again, I am still here. Nothing really happening to my videos, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Uh, but all I can tell you guys is just stay strong, stay in there, be patient, and hey, let's ride this thing out until we can anymore. All right. Hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. If you are not, uh, or rather, if you have not already done so, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and the post notification button so you know when I post it again. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves. And God bless.